the new braking systems upon which we are now discussing the requirements is intended to intervene in the case that a driver, for whatever reason, would not be aware about the possibility of an accident and would not react in time. So the system would then automatically first start by warning the driver that there is a potential collision and secondly, if the driver still would not react, then the system would automatically intervene and brake the vehicle in order to reduce the severity of the accident. According to our estimations, if these systems are fitted uh, on these vehicles, um, our assessment is that in general uh, about 2,000 lives a year can be saved in the European Union and of course a lot more uh, injuries can be uh, prevented. Well, uh, we have a radar, radar in front. This measures the objects which are moving in front or with that which are stationary. And if the situation becomes um, critical, the system um, sees the driver doesn't do anything. The, the uh, situation becomes critical and more critical, then you get an acoustic optical warning. It beeps and shows you in the instrument that you have a critical situation. If the driver doesn't do anything like uh, blinking or evading or braking, the system will uh, hit the brake for a so-called haptical braking. It's a partial braking. And if after two seconds uh, total time the driver didn't do anything to avoid the system, the system will uh, hit the brake and make a full braking on the moving object. It's very reliable and we already have um, accidents where the ABA, the Active Brake Assist, um, avoided or reduced the, the, the collision. And without the ABA there would be deaths and with the ABA everything, everybody was fine, only um, some well, wrecked cars. We started with the system in 1999, developing. CS production was in 2006 and CS production of uh, the system including stationary objects in 2010. So you see it's complex and difficult.